Environmental Studies Series 3. Chapter 6. Living in Harmony. Hello, I am Mira. Look at the cute puppies. These puppies live on the streets. My brother and I give them food and water. We have made a small shade for them to protect them from cold and hot weather. Caring for them makes us happy and helps them stay safe. Living in harmony means helping and supporting one another. It creates a balance among living things. It teaches us the importance of cooperation in our daily life. Some common examples of harmony in our environment include Bees collect nectar from flowers for food while helping flowers grow by spreading their pollen. Squirrels bury nuts, which grow into trees that provide them with food and shelter. Birds eat fruit and disperse seeds, helping plants grow in different areas while obtaining nourishment from the fruit. These examples show how nature works together for everyone's benefit. Caring for animals around U.S. Many animals live near our houses. We keep some animals like dogs, cats and parrots as pets in our homes because we like them and they give us company. But we do not allow all animals inside our homes, such as street dogs, cows, birds, or ants. Some animals stay outside because they are wild or stray and it may not be safe or hygienic to keep them indoors. Others, like ants or birds, are not suited for living in homes as they live in their natural environment. But even if these animals do not live inside our homes, we can help them. We can provide food and water to street dogs. We can leave some grains for birds and make a small bird bath for them to drink water and keep them cool. We can also make small shelters for street dogs to keep them safe during bad weather. If an animal is hurt, we can take it to the vet to help it get better. We should not hurt small animals like ants, earthworms, insects, frogs and other animals. Instead, we should protect them and let them live peacefully in their natural environment. Thus, helping animals is kind and makes them happy. It also helps keep nature balanced and peaceful. How plants are useful to us. Plants are very useful to all living things. They give us food to eat, oxygen to breathe and many other useful things. Let us understand how plants are useful to us. Food from plants. Plants prepare their own food. They store the extra food in their various parts. For example, roots, stem, leaves, flowers and fruits. We eat food stored in these parts of different plants. Roots eaten as food by us are radish, carrot, tumeat, beetroot. Stems eaten by as food are potato, ginger, sugarcane, garlic. Leaves used as food are spinach, fenugreek, mint, lettuce. Flowers eaten by us as food are cauliflower, broccoli, moringa flour, tamarind flour. Some fruits eaten by us are banana, mango, orange, apple, cereal sw, wheat, rice, maize, and nuts as food are, wheat, rice, maize, nuts. Plants that give us tea, coffee and sugar are, tea, coffee, sugarcane. Spices add flavor and taste to our food. Some common plants used by us as spices are, turmeric, chilies, coriander, cloves. Plants used as medicines. Plants are useful as medicines and are often used as home remedies. Neem and aloe vera help treat skin problems, tulsi leaves are good for cough and cold, and cinchona bark is helpful for stomach problems. Animals are useful to us. 
Animals are an essential part of our lives. They provide as many useful things as given below. Milk. Cows, buffaloes and goats give us milk. It is used for drinking and making dairy products like curd, butter, cheese and yogurt. Eggs and meat. Hen provides eggs and meat. Honey. Bees produce honey, which has many health benefits. Friendly animals. Dogs, cats and other pets give us company and are friendly to us. Work. Animals like oxen and horses help in farming and transportation. Clothes. Sheep provide wool for clothing and silkworms give silk. The dead skin of some animals like cows, sheep and crocodiles is used as leather to make clothes. Animals and plants help each other. Animals and plants help each other in various ways. Animals disperse seeds by carrying them to new places, allowing new plants to grow far and wide. Their waste adds nutrients in the soil which is used by plants to grow healthy and strong. Plants, in return, give food and shelter to animals. This teamwork keeps nature balanced and supports life on Earth. Without this connection, many plants and animals may not survive. Make a plant friend. When you feel sad, upset, or angry, you can talk to your plant friend about your feelings. You can also share your happiness with your plant when you are feeling good. How do you feel after sharing your thoughts with your plant? Plants need our care and support. We should protect them stray animals. It is just like we care our pets and farm animals. By helping them, we all learn to care for each other and live in harmony.